Hello everyone and welcome to the channel again. Thank you for joining me. We are in for another review and today's candidate for this review is making a bold statement with the name Arco. We are going to review one of the latest creations of Pinader. Pinader is a company that has a lot of history within the stationary world and is best known for their elaborate and bespoke paper goods. And here we can include wedding invitation for royal families or celebrities, business cards, and if I'm not mistaken, they are providing the official paper that is used by the Vatican for correspondence. For some time, they started working on their writing instrument line and they choose to work with Dante Del Vecchio, which is the former founder of Visconti and he's a very good friend of mine. But above everything, he is a very creative and experienced pen designer. It's very good to see his ideas and concept integrating so well within the Pinator line of writing instruments. Let's get back to the pen that we are going to review. This Arco model is based on the successful collection La Grande Bellezza, which we had reviewed in the past here on our channel. And it's an evolution of that pen in all aspects. I'm going to unbox this pen and immerse into the whole experience that you get when you acquire one of these pens. The presentation box is very interesting. It comes like this. Now we remove the white cardboard sleeve and inside we have this beautiful box which has this vintage green color. On top of the lid we have the company name and logo Pinator. And this entire box is wrapped in leather red. And it's shaped to look like an old vintage desk with the writing table slanted for optimal writing posture. This box is opening at both upper and lower part like this and it reveals a two level configuration. Here we have the Pinator Arco pen and here we have the Pinator pen filler which is a traveling inkwell that allows the user to fill the pen on the go. We do also sell these pen fillers separate. You can find them on our website. This is a eyedropper which is used to fill this pen filler. And here we have an envelope. And inside this envelope we can find information regarding the warranty, instructions and some history about the company. Now let's analyze this pen. I've mentioned in the beginning that the name of this pen is Arco. Now what's Arco? This is a very trending topic in the pen world of our days and for those who don't know Arco is the name of the famous Omos celluloid that in our days is not produced anymore and it's very very rare. Dante Del Vecchio, the creator of this pen, is the person who had the bright idea to combine resins and cast them in such a way to replicate the effect and the color of the Arco celluloid. And just for comparison, I have here with me my ASC Bologna Extra in Arco celluloid and I will show you a side-by-side close-up picture and you can see that the Arco resin is very similar to the real Arco celluloid. Now let's discuss some features of the Pinator Arco and also showcase them. We're going to start with the cap. The finial has the name of the company Pinator on it and the shape of the finial is between flat and dome. It has a bit of both. The clip is very elegant and it was designed after the symbol of writing which is the feather. A functional and spring-loaded cap so don't be shy to use it because it won't bend or break that easy like the really stiff clips material again a very beautiful alternating pattern of lighter shades of brown and darker shades of brown we have a very generous cap band on it there is the company name Pinader and on the opposite side we have the famous sentence that is used by most pen reviewers when testing the performance of the nib. 
and this sentence contains every letter of the alphabet. Also, the sentence is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The tapered shape of the band will ensure that the cap doesn't rattle when the pen is closed or when the pen is posted. This cap is using magnets to hold it in place and they are aligned in such a way that if we try to unscrew the cap like this, the magnets will align and will give the feedback of a threaded cap. But there are no threads at all. It's just the way the magnets are placed in the cap and the section and when they are twisted and the same poles align, the cap is pushed out. This way it's very similar to the threads that are pushing the cap when we twist the cap counterclockwise. Uncapping the pen, we are greeted by this very, very beautiful 14 karat gold nail. And when I say beautiful, this is an understatement. Just take a closer look at this shape and the motif embossed on this nib. It's called a quill nib and it is paying homage to the quill, which is the timeless symbol of writing. This nib was designed by Dante and manufactured by Bach. This is not advertised as a flex nib, but the whole concept of the nib is to be more softer. And for this, Dante used a certain alloy of gold. Also, the cutouts on both sides of the nib, the shape of the breather hole, and the slit of the nib. And when I say slit, is because on the stub nib, the slit doesn't go into the breather hole, but stops under it. Under the nib, we have the ABS feed, designed to have a rich and consistent ink flow. All of these features allow this nib to perform very well and offer some line variation when it's used with a hint of pressure, or it will offer a very smooth writing experience when it's used without pressure. In this case, the nib acts just like a shock absorber. Section, it's made out of metal and it has a thinner part where you are supposed to grip the pen near the nib. We have a portion of the section which has a tactile texture. This is made to stop your fingers from slipping towards the nib. And on the opposite end of the section, we have the ink window, which can show when the ink gets too low. If you're a person that usually grips the pen way higher than normal, let's say like this. The cutouts of the ink window will make this kind of grip feel not that comfortable. The barrel of the pen is slightly tapered towards the piston knob. This pen features a piston filling mechanism and we can operate it by twisting the piston knob at the end of the barrel. On the same knob we find engraved the name of the pen the company name and also the number of the limited edition. This is a limited edition pen of 888 pieces. Size of the pen closed like this is 144 millimeters. Uncapped is 139 millimeters. Posted is 166 millimeters. And the overall weight of the pen, closed and fully inked, is 43 grams. Let's have a writing sample with one of these pens and I'll share my conclusions with you after this. This pen is inked and ready to show you what it's capable of. Let's put everything aside and start pen. Pinator. Arco Nib 14 carat gold fine ink waterman inspired blue now paper tomoy. Reverse 
68 GSM. Let's have a wetness test. We have one pass, pretty wet. Now let's try a double pass. I'd say moderate to wet, as in inflow. Now let's see what everyone wants to see on this pen. We have a flex test and it's just gorgeous. This nib is very, very smooth under pressure and it offers some line variation. Now let's try a reverse. Super smooth and very consistent and nice. I'd say this nib performs very well and if you do want a more obvious line variation I recommend you to go for a extra fine nib and if you do want a more smoother option go for the medium broad or stub. Pineda Arco is the evolution of the La Grande Bellezza model and it brings us a lot of interesting and new features within a reasonable price range. Riding experience with this pen is wonderful and if you do look to add some character to your riding, you can totally take advantage of the soft nib that offers line variation. Again, the overall design, weight and shape of the pen makes it a very suited candidate for a daily use and daily carry pen. And I have to congratulate Dante for yet another successful project. My friend, you did it again. This is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in one of these pens, you will find a link for it down below. Also, if you want to stay updated with everything that is new on PenVenture, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here is where we can post everything that is new, reviews and video content. Also, follow us on all our social media accounts. You'll find links for them down below. I look forward to seeing you next video.